Hi everyone, Alejandro here at TP-Link and welcome back to our Armada video tutorial series. In our previous episode, we explored how to configure VLANs to segment and secure your traffic. And today we're going to take a look at PPSK, which stands for Private Pre-Shared Key, and how you can use this feature to give each client or end user device a unique uh, and secure password without the complexity of a full authentication server. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into our controller. Once you log in, um, you're going to be in global view. So we're going to go to our site view. We're going to go to our default site. Once you're here, um, we're going to do today's practice with an, with an ER605, an SG2008P, and an EAP615 wall. So the main purpose of today's practice is we want to create uh, multiple networks and to do that we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to LAN and then here you have your default network first we're going to create a new LAN this LAN we're going to call it apartment 101 we're going to create this as an interface so that we can give layer 3 attributes to our VLAN we're going to make sure we tag our LAN ports we're going to call this VLAN 101. And for this, we're going to give it a, a, a subnet of 10.10.101.1 slash 24. We're going to update our DHCP range here. And I'm going to edit my DHCP pool so that I have some room for some static IP configuration. So here we're going to do from 100 to 200. And that's it. We're going to save it. And there you go. We have our first network. Now we're going to create an additional one. We're going to call this apartment 102. Apartment 102. Mark my LAN ports. We're going to give this VLAN 102 just so that it is easier to remember. And then the subnet we're going to give it is 10.10.102.1. Dot one slash 24. Update my range, make it smaller, and save it. And let's do one more. Let's create apartment 103. Apartment 103. Create it as an interface. Mark your LAN ports. VLAN 103. And for this, we're going to use subnet 10.10.103.1/24. This is my gateway for the subnet. So update, make it smaller, and save it. There you go. Now we have our three VLANs, one for each apartment. The main purpose of this is that we want to isolate each apartment from each other. We want each apartment to be in their own personalized uh, network. Now, before I create our SSID, we need to create our PPSK profile. To do that, we need to go to Settings, Profiles, where is it? Network Profile, and PPSK. Once you're in PPSK, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new PPSK profile and we're going to give this a name. So I'm going to give it the same name that I'm going to give my building, Omada Building. And now we can start creating um, PSKs or private pre-shared keys to our profile. There's a few ways that we can do this. You can do it manually. In this way, you can enter a name. For instance, we can do apartment 101. Let's do capital A, apartment 101. You have the option to bind a MAC address to this PSK. If you do so, only the device that has this MAC address will be able to authenticate into your SSID with this key. We're not going to do that for now since apartments usually have more than one single device. What we do want to do is we want to give this apartment 101 VLAN 101. So that's it for this one. We can do then apartment one oh apartment 102. 
and we can give this a passphrase of apartment 102. For this PSK, we're going to assign it VLAN 102. And finally, for um, our third apartment, we're going to call this apartment 103. And we're going to give this a passphrase of apartment 103. And finally, VLAN 103. Now, this is one way to do it. Another way to do it is you can do this all automatically if you're creating a large number of PSKs. If you're going to do it automatically, you can specify how many PSKs you want to create. In our example, we only have three, so we're going to create three. And then the, you can define the PPSK name prefix. This is just the name that each PSK is going to have. In our case, we can just use apartment, and then it will cycle from one to whichever number of PPSK you decided to create automatically. And then the passphrase length is going to be how long this password is going to be. Let's use um, 10 digits. Now you cannot do VLAN assignment when you're doing automatic. When you apply this, see how it already created apartment one, two, three, and the passphrase were generated randomly. There were no MAC address bindings to each of the PSKs, and there has been no VLAN assignment in your PSK. As we're going to just edit this one, I'm going to put VLAN 101, and apply it. Here, I'm going to put VLAN 102, apply it. And then here, I'm going to do VLAN 103, and apply it. Once you have all your PSK entries, you can just apply it. So now that we have our profile, we can create our SSID. We're going to go to Settings, Wired and Wireless Networks, and WLAN. Here we're going to create our new wireless network. We're going to call it Omada Building. We're going to broadcast this SSID on both bands so that we can maybe apply some band steering later. And the, the security type we're going to use for our SSID is going to be PPSK without radius. We're using without radius because all our PSKs are being stored in our controller. If you were to have your own radius server that you, were, you want to use for your PPSK authentication, you can use PPSK with the radius, and then you would configure all your PSKs there. So PPSK without radius. And the PSK profile we're going to use is our Omara building profile. Uh, note that we're not going to bind this SSID to any VLANs here in advanced settings because our PPSK feature will do that for us. So we can apply this right now. There it is. Here's our SSID broadcasted on both bands and it's using PPSK without radius. So once you create SSID, you're all good to go. Let's go back to our profile so that we can see our password. PPSK. Let's edit this here. And we're going to test it for apartment one. We're going to copy their password. And we're going to try to um, authenticate on that new SSID using apartment one's password. So we're going to go here to Wi Fi. We're going to check on my building, connect, and we're going to enter their password and then connect. Once we are connected, we're just going to go here to the details. I'm going to scroll down here. And you can see that I have gotten a 10.10.101.100. So I'm getting an IP address from apartment 101's uh, VLAN or subnet. So now I'm going to disconnect. We can see that I got an IP address from the correct VLAN. So now we're going to go back here. We're going to copy the password for apartment 2. And we're going to reconnect. To our SSID. Here it is. I'm out of building. We're going to connect to it. And we're going to enter um, apartment 102's password. There. We're connected to it. Let's check the details. Here in the details, you can see that I've gotten an IP address of 10.10.102.100. So we got an apartment coming from the correct. Um, network or VLAN. And last but not least, we're going to copy our third password. We're going to go here to Wi Fi. We're going to forget it so that it prompts the password again. Forget it and connect to it. 
and then reconnect to it. And here we're going to enter apartment 103's password. Once we're connected, we're going to go here to the details and we're going to check that we have gotten a 10.10.103.100. So we got um, an IP address from the correct subnet. With this, you have successfully isolated each apartment from each other by connecting to the same SSID. Remember that ideally you want to have as few SSIDs as possible to reduce your overhead and your airtime and make your Wi-Fi environment more stable. That's it for PPSK. You now know how to set up personalized keys for more secure Wi-Fi access and how to bind these keys to a specific VLAN or network. In our next episode, we'll walk you through heat mapping and how you can visualize your Wi-Fi coverage like a pro. See you there.